What's up guys? It's your favorite fellow Earthling here, Austin Hustler Hires, and welcome back to another video. If you're not familiar with my channel, I do a lot of videos about owning my junk removal business, my rage room, entrepreneurial stuff about side hustles, and also lately I've been showing you how to fix, repair, and install things. Today is going to be another install video, and I have to replace a window in my house because my son stuck his back through it. What's up fellow earthlings? Today I'm going to give Raphael a quick shout out and uh, he's from Caution Junk Removal. Go check out his website CautionJunkRemoval.com. Let us know what you think about it in the comments down below. So so what's up bro? What, 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 are, you, uh, what are you doing down here in Florida? What's CautionJunk.com. No, oh, 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 sorry. <laughs> it's CautionJunk.com guys. Sorry, not Caution Junk Removal. CautionJunk.com. Go check it out. Let us know in the comments down below. So, yeah, what are you doing down here in Florida, bro? I came for vacation for Orlando Day, Miami, and now I'm heading back to Virginia because that's where I'm, where I'm located at. And I went, came here to meet Austin. Finally met him after seeing all his videos on YouTube, all, all of them to get some, get some tips about it. And it's very good to meet him over here. Yeah, man. Yeah, it makes it more a lot a lot more real to meet people that follow you online uh, when you meet them in person it's just really really cool I'm, I'm it's a pleasure to meet you bro i'm glad you came by and uh yeah guys if if anybody wants to ever come by you know just just call call my phone text me um I, i'll be more than happy to meet and greet i love it i love it it just makes it makes it uh, a more of a, uh, a a motivation to do videos because you see people like this you know did I did I motivate you at all to start a junk removal company you did out completely you absolutely. me and uh, Sonoma Strong you mentioned as well yeah, shout out yeah. to Sonoma Strong hauling exactly. Matt Pick out there and Jojo thank you guys um, we are really changing lives out there and you can see it right here guys so I uh, just wanted to give them a quick shout out before we get off this video for today and we'll see you next time long story short my son tried to push the couch away from the wall, used the window as leverage, and pushed his back right through the window. I have to get this window replaced because we're supposed to have a hurricane or a tropical storm down here in Florida on Wednesday, which is two days from now. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to remove and install a new window in your home, just in case you're looking forward to saving some more money. We're in my house now, standing right next to the window that my son busted out. And here it is. I don't know if you can see that, but there's no window there, and there is another half a window there. There's the uh, break, and luckily he didn't get cut by this. All this plastic holding the window in here is actually so brittle, it can just break off. So like you see that? It was getting old, and it's time to replace this window anyways. I'm glad that uh, this happened because I kept putting this off because it wasn't, you know, for me, in life, if something's not broken, I don't fix it. <laughs> and now that it's broken, I have, a, I have an excuse to actually spend some money on these windows and get them replaced. So the first thing you're gonna do when you're, when you're gonna be removing these old windows is you're gonna go and cut the caulking around the edge of the window. The whole edge of the window, you wanna cut the caulking with a razor blade, and you're gonna do that on the inside and the outside. I've already done that on the inside, so now I'm gonna go on the outside and cut the caulking around the window and then I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. Um, I'll show you how we do that next. Now that I got the caulking cut all the way around the window on the inside and the outside, you have to take the screws out from the top, the sides, and the bottom. So I don't know if you can see up here, but there's a screw right here, and there's a screw right here, and then there's another two screws over there, and a couple down the sides, and maybe even one or two in the bottom. Actually, I know that in the sides, they didn't put as many screws. I can see in the top corner here, they did not um, actually put a screw in that. All right, I got all the screws out of the window, the top, the side, and the bottom. Um, and this window is very old. This house was built in the 80s, and these are the original windows. So they are kind of stuck, even though I cut the caulking and removed the screws. What I'm gonna do next is grab a flat bar and a hammer and uh, we're gonna try to get in between the window um, and the uh, trim or the block. And we're gonna you know, try to basically hammer this in between there and separate the window so that we can uh, get it loose and we can get it pulled out. So if your window gets stuck, you know, don't worry about it. Just go ahead, you know, so it's, it's coming out anyway. 
so don't worry about you know keeping it all nice or anything um, we're gonna get a hammer we're gonna get this in between all four sides and try to just loosen it up and then we're gonna go ahead and pull it out finally coming out guys um, I had to beat some of this stucco which is like the concrete texture on the outside of the house I had to beat that kind of off around the edge it was creating um, maybe like a centimeter or two of uh, you know is blocking it on the, on the other side there so the windows coming out I'm gonna go outside and pull it the rest of the way out and try not to destroy my tomato plants while I'm at it um, but yeah that was it I had to pull the screws out and we had to beat some of the stucco off on the outside Sometimes a window removal um, and replacement can be a little bit harder depending on if they stuccoed your house afterwards or put trim on after they put the window in. Um, so there's all types of situation that can make it more difficult. But just kind of finesse it, finesse it. And as you can see, I broke this window and I broke that window. It was super easy to break. So I'm glad that I am uh, replacing these windows because they're not good for keeping my house cooled down or warm, warm during the winter. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out and, and start putting the new window in. too bad um, about 15 minutes of finessing that window and uh, we got it out so now all we have to do is basically go around and clean up the edges All right, try to remember that I am not a pro at putting windows in. I'm not a pro at anything actually, besides maybe removing junk, but I am really good at a lot of things in life, but I'm not perfect at anything. So if there's any guys out there that do windows for a living and, and they got a way to do this, don't judge me too harshly. If you guys are watching this, give it a thumbs up down below. Um, I'm gonna do my best to get this in as professionally as possible and show you the best way and the easiest way to get it done um, for, for a good price, you know? So I got these windows in my house quoted at about $7,000 and I only have six windows in my house. Um, so they're talking about $1,000 a window and I only spent $780 today on this one big window, which would have been a $2,000 window because it's two separate windows. Um, so if that's the case and I get this in today, I got a, a few tubes of caulk and some screws as well. Uh, maybe another, you know, ten dollars on top of that seven hundred and eighty. So let's say eight hundred dollars total. I'll be getting in uh, two windows, so I'll be saving myself about twelve hundred dollars today. And hopefully, I can help some of you guys do the same. I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap the window and start getting it in. All right. So because I don't do this all the time, I actually read the instructions and uh, everything looks to be. Uh, good so I'm gonna start lifting this window into place and I'm gonna get the first one screwed in and then I'm gonna put the centerpiece which is called a mole excuse the trash truck behind me but um, I'm gonna go ahead and lift it up get it into place and see if, uh, see if everything matches up as it should about because with windows the measurements can be you know a couple of centimeters off
All right, guys, we got some screws. We got the windows in place. We're fixing to level them out. My good old pops is here helping me out, put the windows in today. That's the next step is to level it out, uh, put some screws in one at a time, get them both level, and then we'll put the centerpiece in, which is the mold that I showed you earlier. And uh, then we'll just get the caulking in and pretty much finish her up. All right, we're gonna grind off the uh, mold a little bit so it can fit in the in the middle of the window properly. So probably need some safety glasses, huh? Safety first. Oh, good. Good idea. Yeah, I'm gonna grab some safety glasses. Safety first, guys. You got it. We got the new window in place. It looks really good. It's a really strong, efficient window. And we have the old window laying on the ground right here. And guys, it's awesome that I own a junk removal business because when we do things in projects like this, I don't have to worry about where I'm getting rid of that old window. I'm gonna toss it in a dumpster and uh, take it on down to the landfill. But I'm glad my dad showed up to help me out because uh, four hands on a window like this is a lot better than two, but you can get it done with just one person. So never fear. Austin's here. I hope you guys learned something in this video today and dad. I appreciate you coming out I love you, man And uh, now all I have to do is um, put some caulking all around the outside and on the inside We'll put the blinds back up and it will be a done deal We're gonna take a pause because we're gonna get some lunch and I'll be right back I'll be right back with you after lunch guys Stay tuned to the end of the video to see the complete finished project and there it is. That's the finished product I know it's dark in here and it's light out there, so it's really hard to see, guys. But that's it. Got the blinds back in, the same old blinds. I was able to put them right back in the same spot, so I didn't actually have to move the brackets for the blinds. Let's go outside and see what it looks like out here. Bada bing, bada boom. Looks good, guys. So. This is how I basically saved myself about $1,200 putting these windows in myself. It only took me a matter of maybe, maybe like two hours total all combined the time I actually worked on it. Uh, and they're installed. I'm saving energy. I saved about $1,200 and now you can go and do this yourself. You see how easy it is. I'm a regular everyday average doe. Um, and I and I do I do construction, you know, I do handyman work, but that's because I'm a man That's what us men should do. We need to get out there. I want to see more of this I want to see more men uh, like me, you know out there making that money and and saving that money at the same time by using your hands being a man fixing stuff repairing stuff installing stuff Show your kids how to do it show your wife how to do it because this is a this is a thing this is this is going down in in, in um, all around the world. There are, there are men out there that just don't know how to do this type of stuff. And I hope that this video can help some of you men out there that never learned how to do this stuff. And uh, maybe next time have the balls to go install your own window instead of paying thousands of dollars to do it. I know some of you would prefer just to pay someone else to do it instead of working on the window yourself But it just feels good to kind of know how to do this type of stuff. So hopefully it helped you out. We'll see you next time